So, you're starting a new year and you have a smart interactive projector in your classroom. Well, we're going to take a couple minutes here to show you how to set it up so that you can have it up and running and be ready to go on the first day. So, first thing we have to know is how are we going to set this all up? How are we going to hook it up so we know that it's going to work? So, come on over here and let's check out our connections. So, on my computer here, you'll see I have a few cables and just as any other interactive projector, you need to have certain cables. First one is just my power cable to my computer, and we know how that one hooks up. That's just your standard power cable. That one in. I have my VGA cable, and you'll notice this is the one that has all the pins on it. You just want to make sure that's plugged into your computer in the VGA port. There's only really one spot for that to go. And then you have your USB cable. Now your USB cable is the one that gives your smart board the interactive touch. Without it, your smart board is basically going to be just a projector. And we want this projector to be interactive because that's what it's all about. So we need to plug this USB cable into a USB port on our computer. Okay, we're good to go as far as the hookups are. Now let's talk about this projector itself. It has some key features that differentiate it from other smart boards that we have here in the district. First of all, you may find a little box like this in your classroom. It has a convenient place to store your remote, and inside the box, you'll see I have my pens. Now, these pens need to be charged, so we would recommend that at least charge them every night. Your pen should last you throughout the day, but make sure you have these charging constantly when you're not using them. Try to charge them as much as you can so that you can get a full day out of it and you're not stuck without it. Your board will work without the pens, but it is convenient to have them. So let's start by turning our board on. On your remote, you see you have the power button there. One thing you need to know about this projector is that you have to turn the projector on from the front of the projector. If you use your remote underneath the projector, it will not turn on. You'll sit here pressing away, it won't work. So we need to come out front and make sure that we're turning it on out front. So we're good there. I'm not gonna need my remote anymore, so I'll put it back in the handy dandy spot. Now while that's turning on, I want to talk to you a little bit about the pens. Our pens need to be charged and as you can see here on the bottom of the pen there's an on off switch and there's also a place for our charging cable to be inserted. So since I'm going to use this pen now I'm not going to have to worry about the charging cable. It does have a cap that goes over the top so that I can use it but you'll also see I have this one plugged in and this one is charging now. I have the red blinking light. When it's good to go, you'll have a green light and you're ready to rock. Now let's come back over to the projector. And the first thing I want to mention is that this projector has a laser curtain. So if you're having any difficulties um, not being able to touch the, the screen and it's not working well, make sure that you have all obstructions away from your projector curtain. Get, if you have something on the bottom, you have any magnets or anything on the top, it could cause you to have problems. So make sure you have a nice clear surface here so that it functions properly for you. So I have my smart pen in hand and I also have smart notebook open here. If I want to use my pen, I do have to select the pen tools option up here. Once I do that, I can select a color and these pens can be any color just like our other pens could be. So if I select a color and write on the board, it writes in that color. Now what makes this board a little bit different than the other boards makes it, it kind of unique is I can also use my finger to write on the board. So if I choose a color with my finger, I'll choose purple. If I write with my finger, it's now purple. Now with the old smart boards, if I were to write now with the pen, it would be purple. Well, let's check out the pen and see what color it gives us. Ah, it stays green. So you can have different functions of the pen and your fingers here on the smart board. And as a matter of fact, this is a multi-touch board, so you can actually write with both at the same time. And that should get you up and running for the school year and you should be all set to go.